What's up, you guys? Today, we're going to learn how to make this cool face profile text effect in Photoshop. Are you ready to jump in? Let's do it. All right. So once you are in Photoshop, just create a new file, file new or command new. In this case, uh, I'm going to do something for Instagram, which is 1080 by 1350. So if we check, make sure 1080 by 1350. Perfect. All right. So you have your 1080 by 1350. You can move around. Then the next thing you want to do is to go over to your preferred um, website to get your photo. So in this case, I'm using Unsplash which is one of the best ones out there. It's free, so we're gonna jump in and, and look for a face profile. And we're gonna start looking for a nice, cool picture. Well, this one is pretty cool. Yeah, I think this, this will do. Perfect. So we're gonna just Download if you want to, but what I'll do is all the time is just right click and copy image. Then head over to Photoshop again and just Command B or Control B on a PC and paste it in. So this is way too big. So in order to make it a little bit, you know, smaller and fit into my 1080 uh, width, so you press Command T or Control T on a PC and hold on. Hold down Alt Shift to make it proportional. Uh, there you go. This is kind of nice. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so I can see more of her face, and that's perfect. Then the next thing you need to do is just select your text tool or press T, and then just write in uh, your message or whatever you want to write. In this case, I'm gonna use. Uh, be true and then we're gonna go true I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger of course I'm gonna head over to the character panel and just make the letting way bigger of course so that way you can see more of the text there you go, that's about right. And then what you need to do is just make it like a, make it like a two, like not a three column, but like a three row and then just make it bigger. Control T to transform and then just pull one of these corners and you will, you will have something like that. That's about right, be true. Then if you want to center the whole thing, like center this within your file size, you just control, control or command A, and then go here, and then just like select the middle one. But then because I wanted to have this over to the right, I'm just gonna move it holding shift. So you can see like you can, it's locked in. So you move that like about there. So the, also one of the things that you need to do is save your files. So let's save this file right away. Uh, let's just my desktop and call it uh, face profile text, uh, text effect. All right, and then just continue continue saving like throughout the whole process. All right, so once you have your background image in place, just duplicate by pressing Command J or Control J, and name your if you want you name your your files. Of course, um, this is the original, and this is the copy. So let's let's call it. Um, mask over so if you wanted to lock it like 
in place you can just like go here and just lock this so it doesn't move and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, create a, a mask so in this case I'm gonna go over to the rectangle tool here and you can do it both you can do it so many different ways but uh, what I like to do let's 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 take it let's take the uh, my key selection tool and just create a rectangle or something um, like about like about there maybe leave a little gap in there in the middle and then what you're gonna do is just create a mask around this section with this layer um, selected so what you're gonna do is unlock this again sorry for that hit the mask button and it's gonna hide that and just lock it in place and then what you're gonna do with the mask over just put it on top of your text let's hide this and then hold down all all key in your PC option in your Mac and when you see that little when you see that little uh, that little um, arrow in the middle just click and this is gonna do this this is gonna mask this whole thing out and this is the, the whole thing this is the whole effect but I wanted to take it a little bit further and just like apply some filters and stuff like that so we're gonna go over to a gradient uh, gradient map or just a gradient now let's do a gradient map it'll be better we're gonna go a gradient map here and then we just gonna pick like one color uh, in this case we're gonna pick yeah purple is cool we're gonna pick this one and hide this option and then click on this on your gradient map but not the mask itself but the actual like gradient so once you're in here you're gonna go into your blending options and click on blending options you know it's set up to normal so go and experiment and just pick one that you know feels right uh in this case i'm gonna go with the let's see lighter hmm, soft is kind of nice so i'm gonna pick the soft and then play with a little bit with the over like the overlay uh opacity and let's check this is good i think this is perfect and that's it that's pretty much it guys look at how cool this looks um i really like it i hope you enjoy it um thumbs up like this video so i can create more thank you